Hello, and welcome to NAOJ Topics. I'm Now J. Here are the topics for today. Observations with ALMA discovered the formation mechanism of protoplanetary disks, which become the birthplace of stars. A protoplanetary disk composed of gas and dust is found around a newborn star. However, the formation mechanism of these disks is not yet understood. In ALMA, Researchers are trying to elucidate the mysteries of these protoplanetary disks. In 2014, Dr. Sakai, a chief scientist at Riken, observed L1527 in the constellation Taurus in detail using ALMA. She was the first in the world to directly observe the region where a protoplanetary disk is forming. In 2017, further detailed observations were conducted, clarifying the mechanism by which protoplanetary disks are formed. あるまで初めてその円盤を改造するような観測を2014年 Dr. Sakai will continue studying the way gas and dust enter this protoplanetary disk and if it is the same for other protoplanetary disks. Using Hyper Suprime Cam and the Subaru Telescope, astronomers are creating a map of dark matter. Hyper Suprime Cam or HSC is a huge digital camera mounted on the Subaru Telescope. Its 116 high sensitivity custom CCD modules boast 870 million pixels in total to take high sensitivity wide field images. This is an actual picture it took of a distant galaxy cluster. Dr. Miyazaki estimates the amount of dark matter by investigating the distortion of galaxy images by the gravitational lens effect. The goal is to create a map of dark matter. ペンタイトンの手前にある光を出さない暗黒物質による重力場によって少しこう形が歪められるんですね。歪められたこの形っていうのを多くの銀河について調べてやることによってその手前にある暗黒物質の分布質量の分布を推定することができるんです。これまでは
Fujin is collecting extensive uniform data by observing a wide area of the Milky Way rather than individual objects. Fujin とは一酸化炭素分子とその同位体の分子規線を用いてですね、銀河系における分子雲をくまなくサーベイしようというものです。波長 2.7 ミリの一酸化炭素分子規線で観測する世界最大の望遠鏡になります。分解能が高くこれまで見えてこなかったようなフィラメントが複雑に絡み合った構造が明らかになってきました分子規線なのでドップラー効果によってその速度近づいているのか遠ざかっているのかその内部の運動がこの観測によって明らかになってきた Fujin is a legacy project to leave valuable fundamental data to future generations. Fujin data will be open to the world. We hope it inspires new research. The data from CLASP is now available. In September 2015, the rocket borne CLASP instrument was the first in the world to perform ultraviolet spectropolarimetry observations of the upper solar atmosphere. CLASP is an instrument to perform ultraviolet spectropolarimetry on the Sun. Earth's atmosphere absorbs ultraviolet radiation, so a rocket was used to launch CLASP above the atmosphere for five minutes. The polarization of UV rays tells us about the structure of the solar magnetic field, the solar coronal heating mechanism, and the way solar flares occur. These are the world's first ultraviolet polarization observations of the upper solar atmosphere. They show the complex structure of the solar magnetic field. These results open a new field of solar ultraviolet spectropolarimetry. CLASP-2 and future solar observation satellites will further advance solar astronomy. NAOJ's dedicated astronomy supercomputer, Aterui, simulated the rings around the asteroid Kariklo. Kariklo is one of the centaurs, asteroids located between Jupiter and Neptune. It is famous as the asteroid with rings. But the detailed structure and evolution of the rings were not known. Dr. Shugo Michikoshi at Kyoto Women's University used NAOJ's supercomputer Aterui to examine the movement of the particles forming the rings. This was the first attempt to simulate a complete ring system using a realistic particle size. ま、Asteroid Kariklo still holds many mysteries. Astronomers will continue simulations to clarify the origin and characteristics of the rings.
The Advanced Technology Center's mechanical engineering shop is NAOJ's machine shop for making astronomical instruments. In the mechanical engineering shop, they can design, process, and measure instruments. Various astronomical instruments are made here to meet the diverse needs of researchers. One of the instruments is a 5-axis stage for ultra-high vacuum to adjust mirrors used in the gravitational wave telescope CAGRA.カドウ部分に使う油などが、この真空中で蒸発して、ミラーやレンズなどを汚してしまうという不安があるということで、我々は一切潤滑剤を使う必要のない男性ヒンジというものを利用した製品を開発しました。素材の変形を利用して物を動